Welcome. In this video, we will learn how to track any object in a video using OpenCV Tracker. In case if you are new to object tracking, then I can give a brief explanation of it. Basically, in computer vision, object tracking is the process of tracking any object in a live or recorded video. And for this purpose, there are some algorithms available which are known as trackers and these trackers take the location of the object which is detected either manually or by using any object detector model and then they find that object in the subsequent frames of the video. Now, if you are familiar with object detection, then you may have a question that why don't we use object detector for tracking? Why tracker are needed for this? Let me answer this question. Actually, there are two reasons for not using the detector for tracking purpose. Number one, you can use detector for tracking, but the problem is that they require much computational power and they are slow. So if you are using object detector on each and every frame of your video for tracking purpose, then the tracking process for you will be slow. So what we do is that initially we use the object detector on our video and once the desired object is detected then we provide the location of that object to the tracker and then that tracker will be responsible for tracking that object. Now because trackers does not start working from scratch and that's why they are fast because they work on the basis of information they already have. Hence, they are fast and they are computationally less expensive. Now, the second reason for using tracker is that tracker in some scenario perform tracking much better than any object detector. For example, if the object you want to track is occluded by another object for some duration, then most probably your object detector will fail to detect it. But the tracker, if you are using a good one, will still be able to track it. So let's see how can we implement these trackers and how do they work. Now first of all I will import the OpenCV library and then I will load the video file. So let me show you the video file I have. And this is the video file and here we are going to detect or track different objects. So let's come back to python file. And here I will create an object of video capture class. And inside it I will provide the name of my video file. Now I will use a while loop to access the frame of my video. So here I will write frame equals to cap.read. And this will provide me the frame so I will check whether I get the frame and in case I do not get the frame then I will simply break the loop. And otherwise if I get the frame then I will display it on the screen. So I will use I'm show function and inside it I will provide the name of the window and then I will give the frame. And after it, I will give some waiting time. So I will use wait key function. Now at the end, I will release the capture object and then I will destroy the window. Now let's run the code. Okay, the frames are too big, so we need to resize them. So here I will use the resize function of OpenCV and this will take two arguments. The first one is the frame and the second one is the size of the frame which I want. Now let's run the program again. Now it's fine now. Okay, the next step is to track the object from our video and for that we have 8 different trackers provided by OpenCV. 7 of them are inside the OpenCV library so here we will see only 7 of these trackers. So here I will create a dictionary of these 7 trackers. Now the first tracker is called CSRT tracker. And this is inside the legacy class of OpenCV.
The second tracker is called Mose and it is also inside the legacy class of OpenCV. Now the third tracker we have is called KCF. Now the fourth tracker is called median flow. So here I will write median flow. And then I will provide the tracker. Now the fifth tracker is called MIL tracker. And the sixth tracker is called TLD tracker. And the seventh tracker is called boosting. So these are all the seven trackers we have inside the OpenCV class, sorry, OpenCV library. And we do not need this bracket here. So I will just remove them. Now one thing you need to know is that if your OpenCV version is different from mine then these lines of code may not work for you. And if this happens then it means that the syntax for you is different. For example for me all of these trackers lies inside the OpenCV and inside the legacy class of OpenCV but maybe for you they lie outside the legacy class. So in, in that case you have to remove the legacy from here in this way. And if still it does not work, then what you can do is that either find this tracker by yourself or the alternate option is that to change the OpenCV version in your system. So go to the terminal and write there pip uninstall OpenCV Python. And in case you have contrib package, then you have to write OpenCV contrib Python. And then you have to press enter. Now after uninstalling the OpenCV library, you have to write here pip install OpenCV contrib python equals equals to. And then if you press the enter, then this should provide you number of OpenCV versions available for you. And right now I am using this version of OpenCV. So if you want to install this version, then you have to provide the version. And in this way, you can install this version of OpenCV. And in case if you are using PyCharm, then there is another option for installing the OpenCV. So in that case, go to the file and then settings. And here you have to click on the plus icon and then search for OpenCV Contrib Python. And just click it and then check the specify version option. And from here you can select the version. And after that you have to install this package by clicking here. Now the next step is to initialize a tracker class. So here I will write tracker equals to and then I will write trackers and inside it i will provide the tracker key so here i will create another variable and then i will provide the tracker which i want to use and here i will give the tracker key okay now before 
using the tracker first we need to detect the object and here we are going to detect the object from our video manually so there must be a procedure to detect it so what can i do is that i will store the return value of wait key function and then i will check which key is press so if we have to detect or any region of interest or any object from our video then we will press s and then i will select the region of interest from my video or the object which i want to track so here i need to create another variable which will be called roi and inside this if statement i will write roi and to select the region of interest i will use select roi function and this will take two arguments the first argument is the window name which is tracking because i have given the name as tracking here and the second argument is the frame now after selecting the roi i have to provide it to my tracker so here i will write tracker dot init and inside it i will provide the frame and then the region of interest okay one optional thing i can do is that if i want to close the video anytime so i will just press q and this will break the loop and the program will end now keep in mind that this is the optional step you can skip it now let's run the code and see now if i press the s then video will stop and to select the region of interest i will use my mouse and in this way i can select any object which i want to track and if i press enter then the video will continue again okay now after selecting the roi i need i need to start the tracker and for that i need to check whether i have the roi or not so before displaying the window i will check whether i have the region of interest and if i have then i will start the tracker so here i will write such says comma box and then i will write tracker dot update and this will take one argument which is the frame okay this will provide me with the two values the first one is the boolean value and if it is true then in the in this case the tracking is successful otherwise the tracking is fail so i need to check whether the tracking is successful or not so in case if the tracker is successful in tracking the object then we have some coordinates so we need to extract these coordinates from the box and after that i will use these coordinates to draw the bonding box so here i will use rectangle function and inside it i will provide the frame and then the coordinates of the bonding box and then i will specify the color and then the thickness of rectangle and in case the tracking fail then i will print that the tracking is fail so now let's run the code and see if it's work okay if i press s then the video will stop and to select any object i will use the mouse and if i press enter then the video will start again and see how it work okay excellent this is how the trackers work now this time the tracker fail and you can see that here now in order to avoid any false positive you can set the roi to none here and let's run the code and see what's happened now i will press s to stop the video and then i will select the region of interest 
and then I will press enter. Now let's see if we get any false positive or not. Now you can see that we do not get any false positive when the tracker fails in tracking. So let's close this. In case if you want to select the ROI again when the tracker fails, then you have to initialize the tracker class again. So here I will write tracker and then I will write trackers and then I will provide the tracker key. Now let's run the code again. And now I will select this person as ROI. And now I will wait for the tracker to get failed. Okay, this time the tracker does not fail. So I can try it again. So let's close this. And I will run the code again. Now this time I will select a new person. Now you can see that when the tracker fails, you can again select a new ROI. Okay, this time the tracker does not perform well. Anyway, let's close this. Now let's try another tracker. So the second tracker we have is called Mose Tracker. So I will write here Mose. And now let's run the code. Okay, I will press S and then I will select the ROI. Okay, now you can see that the Moza tracker is not good in case when the occlusion occur. Again, it fails. So now the third tracker we have is called KCF. So let's try it this time. I will select the ROI and let's see how does it work. It fails in tracking when the occlusion occur and again it fails. So this is how the OpenCV trackers work. The last four tracker I'm not going to use because of their very low accuracy, but if you want to use, you can use them in the same way. So now let's discuss which tracker is best in which scenario. So in case, if you want only accuracy and you can compromise on speed, then CSRT tracker is the best for you. And in case you want the speed and you can compromise on accuracy, then Mose tracker is best for you and in case if you want both then we have KCF tracker which has moderate accuracy and speed. So this is how the trackers work and that's all for now. Thanks for watching this video.